Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to learn uh, how to create XML log file for each of the package execution with their time in SSIS package. So let's go to SSDT or BIDS, whatever you have according to the version of SSIS installed on your system. In my case, I have SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and I have created a, a package and called package one. Uh, in this one, I have only one data flow. I'm going to create XML login in this one. So you have to be in the control flow pan and then right click uh, here. Once you click here, the very first option you see is the uh, logging. The other option you have it, you go to SSIS tab here and click and in this drop down, you will see the logging very first option. Click on the logging. Now here in the provider types, uh, we have different providers. We have a text file, we have SQL Server table, we have a SQL Server profiler, we have Windows log, even, uh, Windows event log, we have XML uh, files. Uh, I have done the demo on text file and SQL Server. I'm going to touch uh, XML now and in next demos I will cover these ones. So let's uh, select XML files. The next part is you have containers on the left side or these are executables. So those uh, are the uh, executables or container you will see such as uh, execute SQL task uh, for each loop container, uh, sequence container or any task you, you have used in SSIS package you will see them uh, all here. In my case I'm only using one data flow that's why you see only one data flow. Next part here on the detail if you go here you will see all different even such as on error on post execution, on pre execution, on progress, on failure, on task failed and all those kind of thing you will see here. This one thing I would like to tell you on each of the container you will have different type of events. Uh, whatever you have on data flow you might not have on the package level because package is not uh, uh, loading the data it doesn't have the sources data flow has the source and destination in them so it might be events uh, which are available for the data flow they will not be available for, for package and whatever the events available for execute sql tasks they might not be uh, present for the data flow so there are some generic they, you will see them and there are some specific uh, related to each of the task so here we have to provide uh, check the uh, provider type XML files then hit uh, add button and here you will enable it and now what we have to do we have to go and configure it so we are going to make a new connection in this one we want to create a new file to so create a file and browse and uh, I would like to create the logging in this folder it's called output folder and this is a already existing logging I did for a text file uh, I'm going to delete this one and uh, here I'm going to provide the name and I will give the name to the package one dot XML so that's uh, the name of the uh, logging file would be why I did package one because that's the name of my package and uh, if I have multiple packages running and putting the information in the same folder by the looking at the name I can tell this log file belong to which uh, package uh, hit open and then hit OK in the detail you can select uh, different events uh, on each of the container so here I want to select some uh, uh, on error on post execution pre execution on progress uh, and on task failure and some warnings on the data flow level I would like to select a few of them which are important for my debugging on post execution validation pre execution and the post uh, pre validation on progress uh, data flow on task failed and that that's it for for now but if I need to select furthermore I can take a detailed look in the description and select according to the requirement or I what I feel like they're important for the debugging or troubleshooting I'm gonna hit ok now run the SSIS package and we can go to the output folder and see if the log file is created stop the package go to the uh, output folder and desktop we have created that output folder and I can see that the XML file is created let's open this one we can open with notepad or any other editor so here that's all information we see that we can um, so it, uh, XML file comes with these uh, tags and uh, all of them are uh, is kind of pretty 
hard to read that file i'm not really used to reading xml files and uh, most of the developers are not uh, but you can see all that information and if error happen you can press uh, control f find out uh, uh, error message and uh, that's how you can uh, start debugging your ssis package so if you see here what what is happening here these many lines we have and now the total size of the file is 14 uh, kb let's uh, go back to our ssis package again and run it again stop our package go back to the um, file the log file now the size is from 14 to 27 kb what happened it appended the data to this xml file so this was uh, the first time execution and this is the second time so that's not really uh, suggested uh, solution for the login if you have uh, that same log file and you are running package 10 time or 20 time in a day each time it's going to put a lot of records and it will be get hard for finding the error for specific date or time now what is recommended we create the log file for with the date time on each of the execution of a package let's take this folder path and then go to ssdt here and what we are going to do we are going to create a, a variable and that we are going to call it log folder path why I'm creating the variable here for the folder path because that's where I want to save my log file and by using this variable here when I go to production server UAT server SIT and then what I can do I can use the login uh, sorry configuration for this uh, variable and pass the value or the folder path according to the environment so that's why I'm using the variable next part what we want to do we want to go to uh, this XML um, connection manager for the log file that we have created and right click on here go to properties and then go to the connection string here go to expressions and build the expression for complete connection string so we are going to use the, the log folder path here next part what we want to add we want to add the package name so we have system variable called package name here is package name why I am not hard coding it because tomorrow I might change the name of the package and they, then I have to come back and hard code here so if I use the system variable it's going to automatically take the package name next part what we want to do we want to add the date time so I can use the get date but uh, the values returned by the get date are not compatible with this uh, string type so it will throw an error what I have to do I have to cast these values uh, to the string dt underscore str that's a string 50 is the length and 12 52 is the code now the values are return or in in the string type and we are what we are going to do here I'm gonna uh, put underscore with this one so we can separate the date time from the uh, file name it's, uh, from the first part of the file next part we have colons here so I uh, the colons are not allowed in the file name so I, we have to remove that and also we do not want this uh, to nanosecond level we might want to uh, just want to the seconds level so I'm gonna remove that one I'm gonna use substring first and then uh, I'm gonna use one comma 20 just to extract the date and time part just to the levels of minutes so I left the uh, this dot here and uh, that I want to leave it because I want to add just the extension here I'm gonna do at the end first let me replace uh, these colons with uh, no space or I can um, remove uh, replace them with the um, underscore so that's how I can do it and then I need to add the extension so my extension is going to be XML and that's it hit ok hit ok let's uh, run as SSIS package again and see if the file or log file is created with the date time stop your SSIS package go back to the folder here and then see the log file is created double click and see this uh, there are two logs file created as we are using the the time to the seconds level what happened uh, on pre-validation uh, 
it does create some file but th these are not really uh, log information this is this will be just on the pre uh, validation and uh, they will put some record I have showed in uh, uh, ex uh, how to create uh, the text file with date time and I, I tell uh, tell you guys uh, um, if you go to seconds level you might get two files the best solution for this one is uh, you you want to have the log file to the minutes level so uh, by using that one you will be only creating one file and there are very good chances with 99 percent chances you will have only one file always and that this file not will not be there so this is kind of bug this should not be happening but in case you don't like it and you want to fix it this is the way we go to expressions again and click here now instead of taking all the way to uh, 1 comma 20 we are going to take to the 1 comma 17 so we are just taking the hour and minutes level so we have hours and minutes uh, and we also have to add a dot here for the extension now if we run our SSIS package uh, it's going to create only one uh, log file let's delete this one run our SSIS package the package completed successfully go to the folder and we see that now we have only one log file if I rerun the package again it's going to create uh, the next log file with different timestamp stop the package I have dr dropped those all older files and that's the reason uh, uh, it did uh, created now le let me run uh, this package again one more time so you will see that there are two log files but if you will uh, run the package in the same minute uh, again uh, you will have only one log file just to tell you guys because you are keeping to the minutes level so here on 43 we have one and uh, that actually uh, did uh, we did uh, have the execution uh, information for two of the execution of SSIS package if we look at the size of the uh, file and uh, if I will read on package and uh, right now it's one um, in the morning and uh, 44 minutes uh, what ha what is going to happen it's going to put the information in this uh, uh, file again so if you have minutes level you have the problem if you run a package multiple times in the same minute you will put the information in the same file but if you will go to seconds level what happened you will have one uh, empty file created every time and the next file will have the, all the log information so your choice whatever you like but th this is kind of bug and people has um, put the uh, comments on the connect and uh, and still it's not fixed in any of the um, SSIS version 2005 had the same issue 2008 has the same issue I'm using 2014 as it has the same issue thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video